standing here with Terry, and Terry works with D&D Paving. Terry, why don't you tell us uh, who you are and how long you've been working for Lance? I'm Terry Hall. Uh, I've been with Lance off and on for the past 15 years, and I am the paver driver. The paver driver, that's the big, the biggest one out here. The big machine. The big one, the big boy. <laughs> And you've been with them for 15 years, you yeah, said? Yeah, off and on, 15 yeah. years. Well, that's great. That's a good time span. Um, what's the hardest part? You didn't start out driving the paver. Where did you start out at? started out driving the paver. Oh, you started out on the paver. Wow, how did you learn? By trial and error, or Lance teach you well? Yeah, Lance teach me and everything. Uh, he's worked with us a lot. He does everything. Is he a good guy to work with? Yeah. <laughs> if you get along with He's a, a hard worker. Um, he cares about his jobs. Yeah, he's so, very passionate. Yes. Now you have another claim to fame. Why don't you tell us about that? Um, well, I, I'm the one that builds the popsicle sticks houses in the barns and things uh, for a hobby after work to settle down after getting off the heat. What do you have going now? Um, I, have, I have nothing going right now. Yeah, no, yeah. So it's, um, we're waiting for winter. Uh, that's good. Well, uh, thank you very much for the time you gave us. And I know we're waiting on material and uh, we'll let you get back to your paving job. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Standing here with Lance Drew and Lance owns DD Paving. Lance, how long have you been in the paving business? Oh, I've been doing asphalt for about 12, 38 years. I've had my own company for about 25. Wow, that's a long time. Too many. Too many years. I'm getting too old and too tired for it. I was told you were very passionate about your job. Yes, I am. It's 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 a very frustrating job. It's uh you, you put your heart and soul into it. You try to make everything perfect, but you're up against a lot of obstacles. The weather has a lot to do with it. The machinery has a lot to do with it. 
the timing, the trucks, the whole nine yards. It's just a lot more. There's a lot to it, I can tell you that. Right. You just had, I think, five trucks come through for your paver, and now we're standing here waiting for material. Right. And that's what we're doing now. I just had one truck pulling in. The idea is you try to keep consistent so you don't stop, but it doesn't always happen that way. We send a truck as soon as they get unloaded, they go right back down the plant and hopefully they can get in line, there isn't too many ahead of them. You try to get it so your trucks are consistent, so you're non-stop, but sometimes it happens, you just, you don't get them. Right. Now, uh, a lot of equipment break down, or do you have your own personal mechanic, or are you the mechanic also? Well, I, I'm, I'm one of the mechanics, my truck driver, Dennis Holback, he's one of the mechanics, and then the guys, they work on the small equipment. Mm -hmm. But we pretty much have to do our own mechanical work, and, and when you break down on a job like this, all heck breaks out. I mean, it just, with asphalt, you can't stop. You have to be consistent all the time, but well, a breakdown can really kill you. Now, how many different phases and how many different employees does it take to run an operation like like you're doing here at a big parking lot? Well, I usually run about six when we're doing a big parking lot, and everybody has a designated, you know, assignment to do, mm -hmm. and you try to get in a perfect rhythm, but sometimes we get out of rhythm and it just... <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Right. So, <laughs> But the lot looks perfect. Well, I don't know about that, but we're, do, we're doing the best that we can on it, I mean, so we're, we're, we put our heart and soul into it, but it's, it's a tough, it's a tough racket. Now, your next job is striping it? Yes, as soon as we get done paving all this, my intentions are to get done paving and try to come in here tomorrow and lay it all out and then restripe the whole thing, and hopefully I give them the parking lot Friday. That's what that's my intentions are. Right, then you're going to do the back side of the lot. They're doing this in phases. We're, this okay. is this is phase one. We're bringing this all the way out here, or just beyond my truck. You'll see where the cars had stopped parking. Then there's phase two on the back side, and phase three is clear over on the north end of the lot. So they, they're doing it so much each year because the cost of asphalt has tripled in price. And uh, it's getting any more. It's getting too costly. It's just it, uh, these companies can't afford it. Uh, it's, it's getting very costly. I mean, because asphalt is an oil base, a tar base? It's an oil base and tar base. It's AC and uh, anything to do with petroleum products, plastics, boom. It's like your your factories, they have to increase their prices. Everybody increase their prices. So what they got to do is they got to cut back on everything. Try to go longer, further and longer. But what it's doing to is, is killing a lot of small businesses. It's killing a lot of these factories because of fuel costs. I mean, it's just, it's just expensive. Right. Well, hey. Uh Hopefully your other trucks will come in. I want to thank you very much for the time that you've given us. I thank you. And send somebody else up for us if you wish. We'll do that. Okay.